When it comes to general aviation, the gyrocopter has remained an enigma. For a while, it seemed like its simplicity was its biggest enemy. But with the electrification of propulsion systems, gyrocopters are emerging as one of the best solutions for urban air mobility. Through the advancement in technology, these seemingly unflattering and simplistic motorcycles of the sky are not only getting more efficient, but also strikingly beautiful. In this video, we're going to look at the groundbreaking developments in the new breed of electric gyrocopters. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more such content. When the push for urban air mobility began, for a while, the only electric gyrocopter on the scene was the Rosa by Jaunt Aerospace. Today, however, there are many contenders. Gyrocopters make the perfect sense for urban air transport. They have the inherent safety feature of auto-rotating rotors. They can be made quieter. Plus, having a separate rotor and propeller for lift and thrust respectively allows them to be more versatile. Separate propulsors also make them more suited to having fixed wings for sharing the lift compared to a helicopter. Gyrocopter's high disc loading means low power consumption and this makes them more suitable for batteries which have very limited energy. Note that one of the problematic features of VTOL machines is their very high power requirement particularly during the vertical lift and climb phase of the flight. The ratio of the power required during these phases can be as high as 8 to 10 times than what is required during cruise. This creates a problem for sizing the battery packs or any other power plant for that matter. With gyrocopters, the power during the cruise to power during takeoff ratio drops to 1 to 1.3 and this allows battery packs to be sized easily. Having said that, the inability of gyrocopters to hover and take off vertically and low forward speed haven't helped their case. And add to this the low value of load capacity which is commercially limited to just 450 kilograms consigned them to fringe segment of recreation while the center stage was taken by its cousin, the helicopter. It is interesting to note that jump gyrocopters that can climb vertically have been around since the 1940s, but their prominence never took off. It is fair to say that gyrocopters never saw much development either and remained suspended in time. Things recently have taken a turn. With the demand for electric urban air mobility vehicles and applications like low-cost medical evac and middle-mile logistics, gyrocopters are seeing a surge in interest. Let's look at the design elements of the gyrocopter and see how electrification is being used to tweak this flying machine. First up, the gyrocopter's blade is being changed to make it more efficient. Tensor Arrow has come up with a modified rotor blade that uses a changing cord length. They have added a twist to the blade and optimized the airfoil shape as opposed to adopting plain rotors that are used by most gyros. Their patented rotor design allows much higher takeoff weight than plain rotors and was specifically designed to overcome the low load capacity of the gyrocopter. The second change is powering the rotor through a dedicated motor. In the past, a few gyros had mechanisms that allowed the rotors to be partially powered from the main engine using sophisticated transmission systems. This allowed them to do a jump takeoff. As electric motors are far more compact, lightweight and powerful, a separate motor can be installed just for the rotor. The rotor can be completely unpowered once the aircraft reaches sufficient speed. The coupling of an electric motor with the rotor provides many advantages. First is the ability to hover and vertical takeoff. Second is the redundancy. In case of the main thruster failure, the gyro won't just have the option of auto-rotation for safe landing but also the ability to a powered control descent. Another advantage of the powered rotor is that it can be used as an electric generator and regenerate energy. 
By coupling the rotor with an electric motor, it can be slowed down in forward flight, which allows lower drag and higher speed. The electrification of gyrocopters allows the use of electric ducted fans. Electric ducted fans or EDFs can provide more than 12 times the thrust of their own weight. Luminati Aerospace, for example, have created a gyrocopter that weighs 118 kilograms but has a thrust of 154 kilograms thanks to the two 40 kilowatt EDFs on the fuselage. Similarly, Arc Aerosystems Lynx P3 also uses a large dual motor ducted fan in a pusher configuration. The P3 is reminiscent of the Avian 2180 gyroplane, a beautiful aircraft from the 1960s that unfortunately never realized its true potential. The good news is, Arc Aerosystems acquired the rights to this design and are bringing it back to life. Electric ducted fans are also in the design of the s Toll project. The s Toll stands for Silent Short Takeoff and Landing. This aircraft is being developed by the German Aerospace Center or DLR. Modern gyrocopters are also looking to use fixed wings that will provide partial or complete lift during forward flight. The advantage this has, as mentioned earlier, is that the rotor can be slowed down which reduces the drag. Tensor 600X, for example, uses made wings with winglets and forward strakes with winglets. They have reported that during cruise about 30% of the lift comes from the wings, allowing the rotor to be slowed down to a minimum drag configuration and achieve a longer range. This gives Tensor 600X a range of 500 km. Luminati Aerospace similarly has mentioned that over 130 knots or about 240 km per hour, their gyrocopter requires no lift from the rotor. This improves the range to 600 km. Another one worth a mention is Arc Aerosystems Lynx P9, an advanced 11 seater gyrocopter which will have 90% of its lift from its wing during cruise, giving it a range of 1400 km. Modern gyrocopters are heavily using computational fluid dynamics. The aim is to make the fuselage more aerodynamic and improve the aeropropulsive efficiency. It is for this reason modern gyrocopters also look the part. It's about time gyrocopters saw some development. The demand for urban air mobility is providing the impetus and modern technology is bringing them up to speed. We will keep you posted with the developments of these exciting new generation of electric gyrocopters. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.